far away Yzma has taken me far away Don't breathe Very dramatic music here. Oh, there's a big blue guy. There's an area over here. Oh, I'm moving very slowly. Oh, I see. It's the man. <laughs> this would be interesting. Wow. All right, who's this guy? Couldn't agree more, Carl. Ooh, what is this music? That's great. I'm looking forward to playing that. Accordion can be somber when you want it to be. The end of two chords could be on some other instrument. How do diminished chords... Oh! Right. That's a different diminished chord. Hold on. Right, because... Okay, diminished chords on accordion left hand are not 1 minor 3 diminished 5. They are 1 minor 3 diminished 7th. And that's not what I want. This is a half dim. So what I actually want is the B flat diminished chord on the accordion. Okay. Yeah. All right. That's better. I find it extremely difficult to put on my accordion without going... The root notes are over on this side of the button array, and then the diminished chords are all the way over here. So it's hard to tell which diminished chord you're you're playing because you have to follow this diagonal line. It's just it's hard. Our ears. Our ears. <laughs> Back of the instrument there reminds you of hitting the heels of two shoes together. I don't know what shoes you have, but that's it's not what my shoes sound like. How do you play the mandolin? Oh, I'm gonna be really out of tune up here. How sharp is this? This is also pretty sharp. Okay, I'll just tune very flat. I was gonna bad at man, no wire the frets made for child size fingers. You are meant to have child size fingers. If your fingers are any larger than that, you're wrong. You need to go get your fingers replaced. Or play a different instrument. Let's not split hairs here. We're not split hair therapists. You've got bass, pad, and recorder. Recorder and bass should be both very easy. I'm planning to do upright. I think that'll sound best. Upright recorder, yes. I don't know what I'm going to do for the pad because it's string synth and I can't do string pads. I do think a keyboard for this one is going to end up being the right choice. The Haunted Goose kind of makes that music box sound. You're right. I'm near the edge of my seat. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think I might want to add some cymbal bells. Not auto-tuned, not auto-tuned, not auto-tuned cymbal bells. Walk a mile on another man's horse. Nah. Let's do the recorder next because it's such a short part anyway. Is clarinet choir pad in place of viola pad? M maybe. I'm much more comfortable with that. Could try it. All right, um, so I'm really out of tune. <laughs> All right, the bass basically does the most obvious thing possible the entire time. The only thing that really matters was the... I don't know why those notes are um, bad right now. I'll try wetting my read a little more. Oh, well, that's very bad. I just broke my reed. All right, it's getting interesting here. Oh boy, I haven't played on this one in a while. What this really need it needs is a pitched down boat horn. All right, you asked for it.
Now that seems like way too much reverb right now, but pretty soon that's not going to feel like too much. Here we go. I wouldn't say that was creaky in the slightest. Uh, pitch shift this an octave up. Ah, sorry. Ah, that's pretty good. We're going to do our listen now. The ending did turn out uh, pretty much exactly as I wanted. That was cool. There were a lot of good parts in there. There were uh, some bad parts. I agree. I like clarinet ensemble. Uh, accordion was generally good. I think drums were tasteful. Uh, clarinet was good. Upright was good. Mando was cool. Yeah, generally I, I like this one, I guess. It just it felt weird for some reason. I think my favorite part of recording this one was the accordion, and that was at the very beginning. So it's been a weird semi-slog since then. <laughs>